Hey everybody, this is Lisa with Anderson Pens, and today I want to show you how to clean out and refill a fountain pen ink cartridge. Let's take a look. Refilling an existing cartridge can be really convenient um, and sometimes very budget conscious because bottled ink is much more affordable by volume than cartridges. Uh, some pens use proprietary cartridges and they're available in minimal colors like Cross and Parker. If you like classic black or blue black, it's perfect, but if you really like purples and pinks, you have very few options. The other thing is cartridges actually hold more ink than most converters because some of the space taken up by the converter is for the twisting knob. It's also a matter of personal preference. I actually prefer cartridges to converters. Brian, on the other hand, likes a converter far more than a cartridge. And one other thing for vintage pens, converters are not always available for vintage pens. And for some, like Estabrook, cartridges are proprietary and hard to find these days. So when you find them, you want to hang on to them, and your only option is to figure out how to refill them. Okay, so today I just wanted to take a minute to show you how to uh, empty an ink cartridge and refill it with bottled ink. So the first thing is you want to pierce the cartridge if it is not already used. So just pop it in the section like you normally would. I like to give it a good spin to make sure that it's completely open. Now, um, some cartridges are big enough to use a pipette. Pilot, for example, and Sailor, but it really doesn't work as well because the mouth of the cartridges is narrow and the mouth of the pipette is pretty big. So I prefer our long three inch needle filler. This way you know you can get all the way down to the end of even the longest cartridges. So what I do is I fill it with water. Now this works well if you're in your bathroom or kitchen, um, but I do it in the Chicago store all day, every day. And then I put the needle all the way into the back of the cartridge and just gently push the water in there. Takes a couple times. Suck up more water. This also works really well on cartridges that um, maybe come in vintage pens or things you've already had that um, you've used and maybe you're in the office or wherever and you just don't have any extra cartridges, you can do this. It doesn't take very long to get all the ink out. And then what I like to do is suck up all the extra ink that's still in there. And then give it a good little shake to get anything else, all the extra water out of there. Then to refill it, use the same syringe got my Visconti purple here. Fill it up. Now the trick when you fill a cartridge is to go slowly because if you go too fast you can either shoot the ink out or uh, it'll bubble up and make a big mess. So you just go slow, refill it to the top and then Replace it in your pen and you're good to go. Now, if you have older cartridges, maybe you found a vintage pen or you just uh, left a pen with ink in it, just clean this out. You can do the same thing and it works just as well. So this old dried up Schaefer cartridge Still got a little pink purple in there. So you push it in. Now this one has a smaller opening, so it does take a little bit longer 
but as you can see, it gets all that blue out. Do it one more time. I also, you will maybe get it all over you. It's not too bad. I do like to sometimes tip the cartridge then back down, tip the water back down so that you make sure that you get everything all the way down to the end. Push that back in. Suck it all out. And then shake anything extra out. So that's really about it. Just use a long syringe and go really slowly. So there you have it. How to refill a fountain pen ink cartridge with a syringe. Check us out online at andersonpens.com or in either of our two stores in Appleton, Wisconsin or Chicago, Illinois.